First, there was the Alan Twitty project. The bunny in my brain. Then, there was the Louis Stevens experience. After love. The coming together of these two musical forces begat the supergroup, the Twitty Stevens Connection. Stop, don't go. There's something you've got to know. But the band broke up temporarily when bassist Artie Ryan's mom made him take pottery lessons. Hello, I'm Thomas Grabowski, rockumentary filmmaker. Two weeks ago, Louis Stevens came to me and asked me to videotape what happened when the Twitty Stevens connection got back together. Louis felt that since the group was going to be rich and famous someday, it'd be nice to go back behind the scenes and capture those little moments. Unfortunately, they'd find that the road to success is a bumpy one. Very bumpy indeed. When you walk into the room, my heart's beating wild and crazy. I can speak when I look at you. My tongue gets tied and my mind is hazy. Drum Ren, it's solo. called a groove, all right? You either get in or you get out. Give me my all stick. All right, wake up. Ren, is he done yet? Listen, what you call groove, other people call a splitting migraine. You guys, okay. guys, come on. Remember you said if, if we got back together, you guys would be okay with each other. Can I say something? Where is he? Beans, how did you get in here? Beans is like that, that policeman in Terminator 2. You know who I'm talking about? I swear, he goes liquid. He can fit, fit through cracks in windows, under doors, through little keyholes. I'm hungry. Let's get a sandwich. Hey, Beans, this is big person time, okay? Whatever. Look, I like your sound, but you got one problem. Hi, what's your name? Artie. Artie, you're horrible. I remember Beans writing Artie pretty hard that day. It got ugly. Artie, read my lips. Take a lesson. I don't have to take this. I'm Artie Ryan. What? I was thinking about quitting the band anyway. I didn't like the direction it was going. Nowhere. Since then I started my own band, Artie Ryan and the Funky Cats. I, I had some promotional materials made up. Tom, you want a free one? No, thanks. Thanks a lot, Beans. Hey, who made you an expert on the bass? May I? You are in the band. But um, next time, don't lick your guitar. It's kind of gross. Cool. With Beans in the band, there's like this whole new energy. Everyone was pumped and working on new stuff, you know? And, and Lewis and Ren even wrote a song together. That was freaky. All my troubles just go away. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's four. a perfect Fifth day. day. Perfect day. I like that chorus. Yeah, let's try another verse then. Okay, okay. How about... Hit the snooze button twice. It's way too early. Uh, shower's cold as ice. Ch-ch-ch-chilly. Chilly doesn't rhyme with early, though. But kinda, right? Okay, I like it. Okay. Mom, Dad, get in here quick. Donnie, hang in there. You got five minutes left on that hot oil treat. Dad, it's Lewis and Wren. I think they're getting along. It was just the sweetest thing. 
I mean, I wanted to hug them, but I didn't want to ruin my hair. But wait, um, that sounded stupid. Don't use that, okay? Is that true? Are you two getting along? Yeah, yeah I guess. I guess. <gasps> Hot nuggets! <laughs> it was amazing. It was as if the music brought them closer together. Yeah, those were the happiest days of our lives. It was bliss, sheer bliss. And it was. Well, Lewis yeah. and Wren had found a new level in their relationship. It seemed like the fun would go on forever. Oh. Oh. I just close my eyes and say Another perfect day And all my troubles just go away Another perfect day Another perfect day Okay, now it was catchy enough, but but I thought if we just put some, some really good backup vocals in there, a super cool guitar line like uh, The, the song can be huge. So since we have a hit on our hands, I propose that we get the news out on the Twitty Stevens connection. It's back. It's hot, and it's ready to rock. Yes! yes. Okay. Here's what we do. I think that we should throw a free concert. But not just any free concert. This free concert will be on the school roof. That is sweet. You know what, dude? That's not a bad idea, because the Beatles did a free concert on the roof once. Uh, so did you, too. And now, Tweety Stevens' connection. So, Friday, we sneak up on the roof at lunchtime, and we jam the bricks off this little school of ours. Oh, Hands yes. in. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Lewis had this idea of giving a free concert, and free publicity was a great idea, in theory. But, um, doing it on the school roof... Students on the roof, strictly forbidden. Why do you ask? Um, just double-checking my list of forbidden things. Tom, why are you filming this? What's up, guys? What's up, dude? All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I think that we should get here really early, right? Really early. Like, before school starts early, all right? We get our stuff, our equipment, we set it up on the roof. Sweet, hey, what if we were camouflage? Hmm. You know, Tony, that is a brilliant idea. What if we uh, dress up as giant metal vents to blend in with the roof decor? Yeah, now that I hear it out loud, it does sound kind of stupid. Hey, sis! Right here. Right here, saved your seat. Sis. I told you it was freaky. Anyways, um... We were just wondering if you knew about the rooftop entrance. Any locks, doors, funny business kind of stuff? And then, tragedy struck. That roof thing isn't going to work, guys. It's, um, uh, it, it's forbidden. So? So, I was thinking we could do the concert in the park. You know, the one with the uh, monument shaped like a big onion. And <laughs> you guys, I, I called the park officials for a permit just to keep them abreast. Ren, of you're everything. chickening out. I'm not chickening out. Yeah, you are. I'm not... If I was chickening out, it would be for a good idea. And trust me, this roof thing is a bad idea. Chimney ate the crickets the third junior, Ren. We're not robbing the bank or anything. We're singing on the roof, that's all. So for once in your life, take a little risk. You know what? If you wanna get in trouble, that's fine with me. But you are not bringing me into it. We don't need you. We don't need her. What's living if you never pull your shorts down and slide on the ice, Ren? I heard my uncle say that to my dad once. I immediately fell in love with the phrase. Just, it's great imagery, you know? Ice, shorts at your ankles. So Ren's out of the band? Yes, she's out of the band! We said we'd always be friends, I guess we won't say that again. And now I need to get out of here, out of here. The band thought they had hit rock bottom but they still had a long way to fall. The Twitty Stevens connection was a band in crisis. Ren Stevens was gone. I'm so sorry, Tom. Uh, it's okay. Hi, honey. How was your day? Don't ask. Ren ruined everything! That's so 
not true. Well, I guess the fun is over. Little did Ren know that her defection from the band would lead her on a journey to self-discovery. Ren! Ren? Honey, are you okay? Um, Mom, I, I kind of have to ask you something. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought the right thing to do would be to let mother and daughter have a private moment alone. But this was just too juicy. Mom, uh, do you think I'm afraid to take risks? Oh, well, um... Oh, you think I'm a caution freak. I didn't say that. I, I'm only saying that you are an extremely sensible person. Everybody wave! Okay, now, everybody into the pool! Guys, wait, we can't swim yet. We just ate. Ren, sweetie, it's been over three hours. I think it's safe to go in now. Wait a minute, I just had a potato chip. I should wait another 20 minutes. What was I thinking? I wasn't completely wrong. That kid that ate all that macaroni salad, we had to drain the pool. Ren, don't get defensive. I'm only saying that at some point in time, you are going to find something worth taking a risk for, and then you'll just go for it. You will. Excuse me! Excuse it was me. the day of the concert. Could Lewis pull it off without Ren? What are you going, brother? Come on! Oh, yeah, Lou, uh... I, I can't make it to the, uh, the roof concert. Woody, no, 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 you have to make it, dude. Today's the day. You gotta make it. I'm sorry, but I, I got a dentist appointment. You know, I see I got a note. Got a note? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, totally. Yeah, it's of course. Official. Hi. Please excuse Alan Twitty. Today he has a dental examination. Right examine. Dr. Teeth. Marvin Hurd. I right, heard. Well, I guess you gotta go, right? Okay, now I thought my note was great. Except for uh, one thing. Twitty, I wrote that note for you last week! I know what happened! Ren got in your head, and now you're backing out. Just listen. Don't listen, tell listen, me anything. Listen, else. listen, listen, okay? She does have a point, alright? If we go up there, we could get in trouble, and I'm already maxed out on detention. You hate me. Twitty, I can't talk to you about feelings right now, buddy, because me, Tawny, and Beans have a rock show to prepare for, all right? You have fun at that dental appointment. You... Tom, can you just get out of here, okay? Hey, don't take it out on me just because you weaned out. <laughs> Whoa, Lewis, how'd you get all this stuff up here without Wexter seeing? I had John keep him busy for me. Does this look too casual, Tom? No, it's fine. Keep going. After I realized the Navy wasn't for me, I sort of drifted for a while. Hey, what are you? Oh, you uh, the kids filming me? Oh no, the red light it just means uh off, right, Tom? Oh, then what are you doing up here? Oh, uh, we uh, we heard some noises. So we thought it might be a wounded animal. But now we see you're just grilling sausage. Ah, uh, they're tofu dogs. You think this chiseled body would be eating fatty sausages? Okay, well now that we have that whole wounded animal thing cleared up, we'll be going. Hold it! The roof is a restricted area. Consider this your first and last warning. You got that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and coach, just out of curiosity, uh, are you going to be eating lunch on the roof today? <laughs> no. I grill up here, then go eat in the backseat of my car. I'm no goofball. And coach, your tofu dogs are on fire. Oh, mother of pearl! Anyways, as soon as Coach Chocolate leaves, we're home free. Look, Louis, I think I'm starting to have second thoughts about this whole thing. Why? He's gonna be gone in 10 minutes. Well, it's not just Tugnet. I mean, look, maybe Ren's right. This whole roof thing is kind of crazy. You're backing out too? Look. Why? I'm sorry, Louis. Mm. I really am, but I'm gonna go now. <sighs> Lewis, 
Well, I don't think it's crazy, and neither does Beans. So I guess it's just the two of us. That's fine. Roof. Hey, Beans. It's good to hear from you, buddy. Uh huh. You can't make it to the concert because you have a hamster cage stuck on your head. You're lying, Beans. You're lying to me. You're just afraid like everybody else. I wasn't lying. I still can't get this thing off. And then it was just Lewis, a man without a band. Oh, hey, Ren. Thought you might be happy to know the whole band bailed, and it's all your fault. Look, Lewis. And Ren, what hurts the most is yesterday I called you sis. Yeah, well, I'm ending that. Oh. Wait. Don't move. Don't move, Ren. And this right here, our whole songwriting partnership, I'm ending that too. I'm ending it, Ren. Lewis, you just ripped up your math homework. Where's Lewis? I don't know. I think he's probably avoiding us. Hey, do you know what happened to that kid over at Cook Elementary? Oh, yeah, that dude got stuck in a hamster cage. Yep, ah, the dude finally lost it. Relax, we are at school, this is not a party. Lewis, what are you doing? Lewis Stevens, get down from that roof right now. Ren, I just don't understand it. Don't genetics mean anything? I mean, you would never do something like this. I guess that's because I'm afraid to take risks. Exactly. I'm a caution freak who always plays it safe. Yes, and that's what I love about you. Ah, uh, looks like your brother's in big trouble. Yeah, but you gotta admit, he's got guts. stuff out here. Okay, now who would lose a crusty, disgusting old sock? Oh, nice, bro. Thanks. I was looking all over for that. Good one. There will be no chatting. This is punishment, people. 
Ren, I never thought I would be saying this to you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wexler, but it's just something I felt I had to do. Ren, don't speak. You've already broken my heart once. Mr. Wexler, um, I think I'm getting a blister. Oh, you know what's good for a blister? Picking up more trash. Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. For the last time, Tom, get that camera out of here. The best part about being Lucy's friend? Oh, it's never boring. The downside? Are you going to eat that? Thanks. I have never been in so much trouble before, but it was worth it. Well, you've earned a lot of credit for stepping up. It was very cool. But don't tell her I said that. I would hate to admit that I actually had fun with Lewis.